Hey, Shalom Amakim, Shalom Am. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Those in the gospel brought lifting up the standard of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Real quick, man, um, it says IRS to start using facial recognition this summer. Selfies will be required. <laughs> All right, so hey, this should be a uh, 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 shouldn't be as to shock to you women because you women, you know, you love the whole social media selfies, uh, Snapchat, whatever, Insta chat, whatever the shit y'all deal with. This should be like a walk in the park for you people, but nonetheless, um, this shows you, man, that we're at those times. They want to know who and what in in, in every algorithm of every person living in this society. Because they want to have complete control over the narrative, going back into the whole stimulus check outing, okay? When they were encouraging people to upload their bank account information online, so therefore they can be justified on rolling on your ass when it comes to be. Because as I said, they need to put a face to an identity because the government has your name, your address, your birthday, you know, they have your social security number. But that doesn't mean if they see you, they would know exactly who you are because they can't identify you outside of your partic uh, particular DNA, so to speak, all right? And this is another step closer to the MOB inf MOTB infrastructure because, hey, that with digital scans and retina scans and uh, biometrics, you know, which we've always went into, this is the wave of new world, AI, technology, okay? And shit, this is going to be how business is conducted. Everything is going to be through facial recognition. So like we said, the new normal, that's long gone. All right. So it says the IRS will require users of its online portal to create an ID.me account starting this summer. All right. And they're going to start using this technology uh, and forcing it on you if you want your taxes back. And that's going to force a lot of people to comply with government mandates because everybody in America, they're so-called taxpayers for the most part, but mainly the poor. All right. And you people thrive and you dwell on getting your taxes and being that of so-called U.S. citizens like this year. We're in tax season now, so everybody is on the up and up. They're going to get the new cars, vehicles, apartments. You know, they're going to buy the most extravagant gear. So you people going to fall for this <laughs> because you, 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 you Americans, man, you just a, you're just a bunch of slow bellies, man. You know, because look at this, right? You go over there to Kazakhstan, you go to different parts of Europe, you go to uh, <coughs> what's the name of that place? Uh, Greece. These people were rioting based on laws like this or draconianism like this. But you Americans, you just sitting back allowing this shit. Like this is not even a bother. This doesn't even raise concerns of a red flag of you being thrown headfirst into captivity again. Like the hell wrong with you people, man? They need to know your face in order for you to, to, to get your taxes and to get your online ID. That's stupid, man. Okay, and that's not even ethical. And on top of that, the IRS is not a probable business or conglomerate of the United States. It is a private entity. This is not a corporation of the United States, okay? That is like a private business owner coming up to me saying, hey, man, give me all the money out of your pocket. Nah, nigga, beat it, bro. Or some chick coming up to you in the street saying, hey, I require you to uh, send me a picture. Like, like, motherfucker, I don't know you. I mean, hell, I'm sending you pictures of me for. But see, they got you people duped, man, off the deception, the witchcraft. You know, and it says here, it says citing security blogger and they're using it under the vote of security. Brian Krebs, Business Insider, report on a new message on the IRS website directing users to create an account with ID.me, which, yeah, all right, you ain't getting one for me, man. Fuck your taxes and shit. But anyway, it says if you have an existing IRS username, please create a new ID.me account as soon as possible. <laughs> We're bringing, you, we're bringing you in an approved signing experience. It says you won't be able to log in with your existing IRS username and password starting this summer 2022, the message read. If you're a new user, please create an account with ID.me. Like, that's been the problem creating the email address, password, putting your credentials in, looking at your tax return. You're done. Now they want to see your face because they're going to upload it to a database. Therefore, they can attach the face to the social security number. So if you are delinquent on taxes, they already know who to how to identify your ass, man. 
Because, hey, if you behind on your taxes, they're sending them peoples after you. Because that's what kind of devil we're dealing with. And it's going back into the whole, like, the whole minority report. And you got the social credit system. Like in China, uh, people basically, what they do is they uh, 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 they got facial scans everywhere. So, therefore, if your social credit store is pretty much of that of poor, they can identify you by your biometrics, man. Whether it be your fingerprints, your eye retinas, and just your face in general to identify you. So, this is the reason why Babylon, this camera, is, this society is pretty much camera based. You go to the store. You got thousands of cameras in there, man. And don't think that they ain't identifying you and recording you. Everything is recorded here. All right. Same thing with the new Amazon. Uh, I think it's called Amazon Fresh. Okay. It's like a new Amazon store. They're building up. They're building up these stores at an expedited rate. And they're all digital smart stores. And they're going to have over 1,300 cameras in these stores. And all this shit is going to connect into a particular database. So they'll know if you got you jabbed up. They'll know if you got the MOTB. All right, because based on your retinas, they will it, it will bring up your history of doctor visits. Of you've been here, you've been there, and it will show if you got the M A R K or not. This person hasn't been tagged or coded. That's another word we can say, tagged or coded. You know, like in Demolition Man, they was like, well, we couldn't find him. They was like, because well, Phoenix isn't coded. He wasn't tagged up. All right, but this is the process of tagging people up. So therefore, they can come with the M O T B man. All right. And that MOTB is getting ready to be pushed any day now. All right. So, hey, shit, we finna get up out of here. Same time, man. Things are finna take a turn for the left. All right. For the men of the Lord, things are getting ready to go left. But, hey, we got to stay on the straight and narrow because agents, spies, uh, 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 all types of wickedness, man. Betray all these things are coming in the form of, uh, uh, of spiritual demon Satan, man. To try to throw the brothers off their faith But hey we're gonna walk according You know And it says here It says To create an ID.me account Users must submit several pieces of documentation As well as a live video selfie it's too TMI bro Say less It says an IRS spokesperson Confirm users will need an ID.me account To make and view payments And access their tax records You see so you're going to need that in order for you to pay them. You're going to have to upload your face. And we know how you Americans, when you're behind on taxes, you start to panic. And this is another way they can coerce you into doing their bidding. And it works because you, you stupid bonehead American, you, you allow it. You should be outside this place pissed off and, and following the example of the other nations, man. Ain't no way in hell this shit got out of this out of, out of hand like this. This is ridiculous, man. All right. And, I, you know, and that's on behalf of you people. You people are claiming to be freedom fighters, constitutionalists. You believe in your amendments. But if you believed in that shit, you wouldn't stand for this. You've been took this place down, you know. And, but you know, hey, this is y'all kingdom. Have at it. You know, we're just the prophets and we're prophesying against it. That's it. You know, it ain't going to make us or give us a shit which is different because we know that our sovereign power is coming back to deliver us. So, you know, y'all can have at it. This is y'all kingdom. We don't give a good goddamn about this place, you know. But anyway, it says, according to Krebs, McLean, the V8 base ID.me was originally launched in 2010 and was primarily designed to help e-commerce sites validate the identities of customers such as teachers or veterans who may be eligible for discounts. All right. It says since then. Many states have begun using ID.me to verify people eligible for unemployment and other benefits. All right. The company said it has about 64 million users. So you see jobs, benefits, Social Security, 401ks, all this shit. They're going to pry around your livelihoods and your income. And they did a study. They said American people that like the comfortable lifestyle. They are basically uh, integrated with their income and with their luxury, uh, with their luxury lifestyle. So this is how we're going to get them to succumb into this beast infrastructure because we're going to target their money, their houses or the, their, their, infrastructure, their goods. That's how they're going to get you because you people, will, you, you're just a bunch of fucking meatheads, man. You people are a bunch of goddamn meatheads. The only thing you know is consume, consume, consume. Okay? You don't do a damn thing productive. That's why you uh, Babylonians, man, you're going to get hit with the most missiles. And I see why. All right. Anyway, this is the book of 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we're not ignorant of his devices. This is another device 
employed by the so-called white man, okay, that's led by spiritual demon Satan, okay, the physical counterpart of spiritual demon Satan is you damn Edomites, man, okay, you're the sons and daughters of the devil, you know, but even the most high controls the devil, you do his bidding, but nonetheless, man, this is the whole ordeal now, this is what it's going to lead to be, because the scriptures say that, hey, he set himself up as God, he set a seat in, in, in a seat of the most high, claiming that he is the most high, so he wants to know everything about you. Because, hey, he's trying to uh, mimic uh, the kingdom of heaven, but on the left-hand side, okay? Uh, Hairs. What is this, Luke? Yep, Luke 12 and 7, and it reads here, and it says here. Matter of fact, let's start at verses. Verse 5, Luke 12 and 5, it says, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, okay? Don't fear Esau, Edom. It says, Which after he have power to kill, to cast a power to kill, have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say ye fear him. That's what the Christians get mixed up. I told you that's a such thing as hell. That's not talking about a literal goddamn hell, you damn dummy. All right? That's talking about the most high destroying your ass and putting your ass in a fucked up body, man. You know, like it was a one dude, he, uh, this one boy, he, he, he was basically born with a tumor on his face and he looked like a big crab, man. Like to the point it was scary to look at him. That's hell. Shit, you, what's worse than that? The, the, the eternal pits of hell and torment or that. Okay, pick your poison. But it says, are not five sparrows sold for two fardens and not one of them is forgotten before the most high? But the very heads of your head are numbered. Okay. But fear ye not, ye are more valued than the sparrows. And that's the point, okay? Esau wants to be able to number the hairs on your head because the Most High knows, okay? Because you can't go through a person's head and count literally every strand. That's like trying to count the sand on the ocean. The Most High knows how much hair versus Esau, he wants to know. So he's playing the Most High. He's playing God. But nonetheless, this is Bible prophecy coming to pass, okay? Because the scriptures say that uh, the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked, all right? So uh, why this wasn't going to be a long lesson... I just kind of wanted to uh, extrapolate some information from these particular precepts. Uh, second Edges 15, 1, it says, Behold, speak thou the ears of, of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, says the Lord. And we've been prophesying of these infrastructures to come up. They're being erected as we speak. Okay, and this is going to lead into the MOTB or the Karagma or the uh, what you call the uh, tagging method. All right. Followed by the collapse of the economy, followed by the missiles raining down from the heavens, followed by the chariots delivering the elect of Israel. That's the times we're coming into. And as days go by, months goes by, things are going to start intensifying, but they're going to speed up. Okay, the persecution is going to come. The divisions are going to come even greater. Okay, it's going to be turmoil within the churches as we're seeing now. There's a big debate going on about fringes and uh, uh, the law. Okay, these things are going to continue to intensify. Before you know it, it's going to be whether it's lawful or not to wear uh, whatever, a beard or whatever, which according to the scriptures, you're supposed to have a beard on your face. That's part of the law, you know, but, you know, you got men out there that, uh, you know, they seem to, to, to come with, with different arguments and debates about shit that really don't, it, it, it don't edify, man. It's just a bunch of confusion and a bunch of sides being taken, man, when, you know, the scriptures tell you clearly that, hey, Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai is going to deliver the hopeful elect, okay? The commandments are very important. You keep the law, statutes, and commandments. But overall, that faith in that name, Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai, you have faith, you will do the commandments, period. But it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, all right? So these things are coming to pass. So this is another step closer to the MOTB infrastructures and this devil, he got you people right where he wants you, man. And with that, all praises and glory under this duty. How about you, man? How was shy? And with that, shalom, blah, 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 blah. Shalom.